Well, as the head of NOAA, I've got to tell you that my national parks are the national marine sanctuaries, and we've got a lot of them. I can't tell you one is more favorite than the others. It depends what you want to do. My name is Rick Spinrad. I am both the Under Secretary of Commerce for Oceans and Atmosphere and the Administrator of NOAA. And NOAA is the United States National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Wow, my favorite sea animal is actually any uh, species of octopus. And that's because over the years, I've really studied a little bit about octopus. They are extremely intelligent. They show emotion. So the easy description of what NOAA does is that we are about science, service, and stewardship regarding the environment. So we collect information, develop forecasts and predictions for everything from weather, oceans, climate, and we also have responsibility for management of the nation's marine fisheries and conservation of some of our protected areas in the oceans. So I've been fortunate in that my career in NOAA has given me the opportunity to visit a variety of uh, areas in Indonesia. Shortly after the tragic 2004 tsunami, I visited Banda Aceh to see the damage to understand what we can do to prevent that kind of damage. I was also in Sulawesi and was able to go snorkeling in um, Manado many years ago. And I've spent quite a bit of time here in Jakarta, so I enjoy each of them for very different reasons. So NOAA is very concerned about the ability to understand what's happening with climate change. We spend a lot of our effort trying to get the best possible measurements of changes in temperature, ocean acidification. We do that with satellites, with ships, with robotic instruments in the ocean and the atmosphere. And at the end of the day, our goal is to be able to predict what kind of changes we might see in the future. I cannot resist lumpia. You can tell looking at me, I love lumpia. Saute's good too. <laughs> Work that we do arguably is to support the United States' ability to respond to and adapt to weather, climate, ocean, and understand what's happening with our fisheries and, and marine resources like corals. To do that, to do that national mission, We've got to work globally because everything that happens in the environment uh, in our country is directly affected by and affects what happens globally. So we work with nations around the world, especially those that have large marine uh, activities and large areas of marine operations. And so connections with countries like Indonesia are critical. So when it comes to plastic pollution, my belief is that Everybody, every single person in the nation has a responsibility. So in the case of Indonesia, it's important to ask the question of, are we recycling as effectively as we can? Are we working with major producers to, the, to make sure they understand what their contributions are to keeping plastics from getting in the ocean? So everybody's got a role to play to protect the oceans from the damage of plastics.